This D&D &D dice set by Dice D&D &D set, say that three times fast, comes in a nice cardboard box. There's an image of a dragon, which is not only thematic, but also very cool looking on the front here. It's got a meta closure to keep it nice and secure. And then you open it up, there's a dice maintenance card that does suffer from a few translation errors. You've got a little thin pad here on top, and then the dice themselves. They're nicely secured in a thicker, but still soft foam padding. It comes out very easily. Now the cool thing with this little cardboard box is it's actually deep enough to serve as a dice tray if you need it. And it is padded at the bottom. And it being cardboard, you don't have to quite worry about your sharp edge resin dice being rolled in here, say against like a metal edge of a metal tin. It's a little softer on them. So let's get to the table and let's get rolling. Now I do have to be upfront. I received this set at no cost to myself, but I'm not being paid anything or given any other items to produce any sort of content here. I'm choosing to do this on my own. This is a seven die sharp edge resin set that features a liquid core. Now, unlike most liquid core dice, which are glitter effects, this actually has this eyeball, which stares up at you no matter which way you orientate the die or when you roll it, it's always looking at you, watching you. So what I really like about this entire set is it's actually polished very cleanly on all the edges. You have nice sharp lines on every single die. The faces are all nice and clean. The inking is done really well on all the dice basically no issues whatsoever there and that resin is nice and clear so that eye effect really stands out whether it's on a nice lighter background which does help it pop but the, the color combos they use put on a back background it actually looks really well and blends really nicely with that so whether you've got a dark rolling tray or a lighter one you're going to be able to see these dice and that eye effect is really going to look really nice so this is the dragon eye die set in red they have several different options for different eye colors and inking options there for the dice. So let's go into each of them and take a look. I like that we're starting to see different shapes for D4s in these liquid core sets. Now this is a teardrop or shard shape. And what it does is it allows for a nice bigger core in there that really gives you more of that liquid core effect, what makes it special. And the cool thing especially is on the bottom here with none of the numbering, really can see that effect really well. That thing is really staring up at you, clear as day. Our D6 here is nice big size, nice big core there, and it's balanced actually very well in the center of that shape. So no complaints about this guy. This guy looks really good as these D6s always do. The D8 here does have one minor issue. If you look between the eight and the six edge, there's a tiny little bubble right there in the resin. I mean, thankfully it's kind of on that edge side, so it doesn't, you don't notice it as much, especially at distance when it's on the table. So it's a minor thing I just wanted to point out for folks. I mean. That's the only bubble in this entire set, so it's really hard to complain about something like that, but I did want to point it out. Now your D10 and your D percentile are pretty standard. They both look really good. There is one minor issue here on the D percentile. If you see on the 60 side here, I'm trying to catch it in the light. Up there, there is a little bit of like stray inking on the die face. I tried to kind of get that off, but it, it's kind of stuck on there. I think if I worked at it, I could do it. No issue. So just something to bring up. But like I said, that's like really the only inking issue on this entire die set. So the D12 is always a good shape for this sort of effect. Nice and big, really easy to see. The only issue is it's a liquid core, right? So sometimes those cores get a little off balance. You can see here that that core is a little more weighted to that 12 side, especially there on the side. You can see that really well. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but that is actually a really common thing I've seen in pretty much every single liquid core set I've looked at. The same is true when you look at the D20 here. It's a little bit off center. It's kind of towards this. It's it's like the 2218 kind of corner. It's or like edge. It's a little it's a little hard to there we go. And now we can see it. Yeah. So it's it's not perfectly in there. But the D20, the D12, that that seems to happen in these die sets. So I, I'm not really gonna complain about that. The liquid cores, I haven't found a single company that can really balance those perfectly in every single die, every single set. So it's kind of something you just have to live with at this point with liquid core dice. So my biggest concern with this die set, since it's a liquid core, but with an eye effect was, well, how are they achieving that? Is this going to be kind of a weighted die that might be a little unevenly balanced? Because they're either weighting that inner core or they're using buoyancy to achieve that effect where that eyeball is always looking up. Either way, it's going to be a little less uniform than the glitter liquid cores where that disperses throughout that inner liquid a little more evenly balanced. Now, I have to say, though, in doing rolling tests, I haven't really noticed any issues with these dice. 
So I, I don't think that's really a concern. I haven't noticed any obviously weighted effects or numbers that are always coming up. So I think just like the other liquid cores, where even if they're a little off center in the die itself, you're pretty much going to get a pretty standard rolling you know, distribution. So I'm glad to see that that initial concern of mine hasn't really panned out at all. Overall, I'm really happy with the set. I think it looks really cool. The MSRP is $80, which is a little high. That's kind of gemstone dice set territory, but they've been on sale for over a month, I think, for, at $36. So I think that's kind of closer to the real price. Um, now the red inking on this die can be a little hard to see. It is a little easier in real life than on the camera here to pick out at a distance. But like I said, they do have other inking options for that. The only thing would be, you know, that red kind of blends nicely with this particular eye effect. If you chose another color, it might be a little harder to see that because they are using actually pretty nice big numbers on all the dice. So you would get a little bit of that being obscured, which would be unfortunate because that eyeball effect is really cool. I really like this D4 shard or teardrop, whatever you want to call it, because that really stands out really nicely. Now, I think these dice would be perfect if you're playing some sort of Dragonborn, Dragonkin character, or maybe you have magical abilities that come from some sort of dragon ancestry in your, you know, back in your family line. These would be perfect for that character. Or maybe you're fighting a big bad dragon boss monster. You know, that's the campaign. That's the campaign's end boss here, and perfect for the, you know, the DM GM to use when they're rolling their die sets. Or maybe you've got like a a dragon character. It's an NPC in your campaign. Really cool. Again, this set could also be used if you're playing Lord of the Rings. I mean, come on, that looks like Sauron's eye, doesn't it? Like, that's that's the vibes I'm getting. It's, it's cool. So if you're playing Lord of the Rings style fantasy adventure or something like that, perfect for that as well. I mean, tell me what you guys think these would be great for. I'd love to hear it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Remember to keep rolling. Bye.